I'm Uncle Mark. Welcome to the channel. A little different um, car scouting. It's summertime here in Manitoba. I just happen to be in small town Manitoba. I've been asked not to tell you where. And we'll take a look at a car I spotted. Uh, it's an old Buick. It's actually in pretty decent shape, all original. It uh, hopefully is going to be restored one day. Let's take a look at it together. Look what I ran across. Nice big four-door Buick. It looks like an all-original shape. As far as I could tell, you know, the paint looks original. 60 Buick. See the top of the door is bent. I don't know why. They should fix that or put some plastic over it so the rain doesn't get in. Looks pretty complete. Somebody's had the dash apart. They've got the radio out. Some other parts and pieces back there. Maybe they're going to get it going. Need the windshield. We'll look at uh, the top of the dash from there. That's kind of neat. Some kind of chrome thing there on the other side. We'll come to that. This is probably period, but not factory, I'm sure. Ah, Le Sabre. So it's a Buick Le Sabre, 1960. Kind of cool. Yeah. I don't know why the paint's coming off on this side, unless the front's been hit at one time. Nice big old car with the fins. Fins started getting smaller already. Uh, last plated, well this Manitoba had these in 76 to 82, so it's got a sticker on it, so it must be 77 at least. Uh, I think 83 actually, the new plates came out, so somewhere in there, hard to say. Oh, it's got a trailer hitch. Must have towed something, doesn't look like it would have towed something very big, but hard to say, right? Big old frame car. Okay, it's got a crack in it, or a piece missing. This side uh, has got a little bit of rust happening on the dog leg of the back wheel. Back door there. And some chrome that's bent. Or aluminum. Stainless steel probably. Oh, it's kind of a neat looking dash, isn't it? I thought there was a tack there on the dash. We'll come back to that in a minute. Of course it needs a windshield. Somebody's got all this apart. Not sure why. Like I say, couldn't talk to the owner. There's that silver guy there. I thought, what a cool thing. Why would they? Is that a period tack? It's not. Little four headlights. The grill, I think. Yeah, it's hard to say. It looks not bad. Didn't open the hood because I've got no permission. So, ooh, look in the background. You see that? We'll have to come back to this in another video. Same guy. This car is probably worth some money. This one, no, I, I'd drive this. This is mine. Hey, okay, anywhere. Thinking this is probably a power antenna. It's neat. And if we look uh, inside again, I thought that was a tack, but it's actually a clock. Factory clock from that time. Uh, yeah. Well, still kind of cool. With hands, so the young kids wouldn't know what time it is. Automatic car. And there's that other car there too. We'll come back to that in another video. Yeah, it's a good looking car. I like it. So it's too bad that, you know, maybe somebody couldn't buy it, but uh, not for sale at any price, supposedly. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. Hopefully uh, they get it inside or off the ground really soon. If you like the video, why not give me the thumbs up. Uh, check out uh, my old car playlist up here. Uh, I'll put you a link there. And uh, you can also subscribe. Usually I'm doing repairs on vehicles, but hey, every so often I see an old vehicle and you know I love old vehicles. Till next time you take care. Bye bye for now from Uncle Mark. Give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Plus, please subscribe. And you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell.